Today I am trying the Hero Cosmetics Lightning Wand Dark Spot Brightening Serum. In a previous video, I tested the Hero Cosmetics Micro Dart Patch, and I didn't really see that many results, and it's likely because my scars are more red and not dark. I'm hopeful that this wand will work because on the product website, as well as in some of the reviews, people with a similar skin tone to mine have seen results. The instructions say to use it twice daily. Some people have seen a difference in just one day, but to give it enough time, I'm going to use it for three days. Good morning, everybody. It is my first time trying the brightening wand today. The first thing you're supposed to do is cleanse your face. So I'm going to do that. Oh, it's already coming out. Cool. It feels nice and cold. And you can see that it's shiny here. My strategy is going to be applying it to a few spots just so I'm sure I am not mixing up scarring and like pigment change. Okay. So I think I'm fully covered. It doesn't have a smell at all. It honestly just feels nice and cooling. So I'm very happy with it. After trying it for the first day, I'm not seeing a huge difference. Dermatologist Mona Mislonger says that the ingredients in the serum are helpful in brightening dark spots. The main ingredients in the serum that are going to provide brightening of the skin are tranexamic acid, vitamin C, and the licorice root. So they all work on an enzyme called tyrosinase and basically help inhibit melanin production, which is the brown that you're going to see in acne scarring. Additionally, tranexamic acid is one of my favorite ingredients because it also stops pigment from going to the skin cells and it's an anti-inflammatory. Good morning. It's day four. I just woke up. Cheers. So I was looking at my face this morning and I maybe see a little bit of a difference. I don't know. Like I feel like some of them look a little bit brighter, not as dark. But I'm going to talk to dermatologist Mona Miss Lonker again to go through my before and afters and see what she thinks. To be honest, I didn't notice a huge difference in your before and afters. And I think the main reason why is when I look at your skin, I think in most of those pictures, I see some deeper kind of rolling scars. And then I actually saw more so post-inflammatory erythema, which is the pink and red scars. So I think that this serum is mainly targeted for the brown and the melanin. Um, you know, trans tranexamic acid is going to help a little bit with the vascular component. The niacinamide that is in the serum will help you with the redness. Uh, but I think something with a retinol or retinoid is going to help you more for texture and perhaps something like azelaic acid or niacinamide for more of that pink red scarring. Now, in some of the before and afters, especially the ones that were closer to the temple, I did notice a little bit of reduction of the melanin. So overall, like I said, I think it, there's great ingredients in it. Um, I just think that maybe it's not a one size fits all for everybody. And remember, sunscreen is always going to be the most important. A lot of these ingredients provide anti-inflammatory benefits. So I think the more fresh an acne lesion is, they're going to provide benefits at that point. 